Spice Hall family, <clears throat> it's Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. So, a little bit of an announcement coming right before I do this divine channeled reading for the divine feminine energies. Um, I'm going to attempt to connect the... I am going to, sorry. Sorry if my kids are loud. Um, I'm going to be connecting to the energies of the divine feminine... So that way the divine masculine knows what um, his divine feminine is feeling right now at this time. So I bought a microphone for my channel and it didn't work. And I'm a little bit upset about that. But we're definitely not giving up. We're not giving in. We continue and we just make do with what we have. Um, but I was really excited about using it. <clears throat> and it just didn't, it wasn't compatible with my phone for some odd reason. I mean, it is like, you know, it's a, it's a Samsung, so it's not like it's a crappy phone. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, that's a different story. So I did put up a poll um, so you guys could vote on what it is that you wanted to see from this channel. And, you know, a lot of you, I think only like three people voted, which it's, it's completely fine. But the votes were for general readings and also for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energies. So I will continue to do the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energy reads um, as far as the Twin Soul journey goes. But I will be switching to general reads and I will no longer be focusing on love reads um, <clears throat> for now. Um, I might do another... Um, poll later on next month. So if you guys want to see different content, make sure you vote because as of right now, I'm just going to be doing general reads, not love reads, because that's what was voted. That's what, you know, people want to see. So, which surprised me because, you know, my sexual energy read got like 50 views, which is a lot for my channel. Anyways, um, normally people just view my shorts, like the shorts will get in the thousands, but you know, like these general reads, you know, they, they don't really, you know, see a lot of views most days, but the sexual energy reads got 50 views, which is pretty good for my channel. Um, so I was assuming you guys wanted to see more of those, but the votes don't lie. So it, the poll is still up there. So if you do want to see other stuff, make sure that you go there and vote. It's my community tab. Until then, I will no longer be doing any love readings. I will only be doing the divine masculine and feminine energies. Okay, um, I will finish off the bonus love reads. So the one I have for Leo and I think it was Sagittarius and Aquarius, I believe. I don't know. I have it. Let me see. I have it written down. Um, let's see who owned a, earned a bonus read. Bonus read. We have Gem. No, no, no. Sorry about that. Yes, Gemini. We have Leo, Gemini and Sagittarius bonus love reads to do in that order. Wow, Gemini earned another one. Okay, so I have a lot of Geminis that watch me. All right, so <clears throat> without further ado, let's dive right in. If you see any weird floaty smoke, it's because I have incense burning and I've already invited in all of my guides, all of the Archangels, particularly Archangel Chamuel because Archangel Chamuel um, is the angel which helps people to find love. And also I invited in Lady Nada because she um, guides twin flames. So let's hop right in. All right, let's see how the divine feminine is feeling. We're going to start out with my good old fashioned Rider Waite. So I'm going to try to show you all of the cards. Um, if I don't, you know, then, you know, just bear with me here because my little slot here only fits three cards. So, <laughs> you know, we do what we will. I will lay the rest of the cards out here and try to show you them as I pull them out. All right, connecting now to the energy of the Divine Feminine. Um, for those that are on the Twin Flame journey and who are watching me, <clears throat> the Divine Masculine wants to know what his Divine Feminine is experiencing right now on her journey. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap into the energy of the Divine Feminines. And see what it is that they are facing with. They are being faced with their shadows, their joys, um, how she's feeling about union, things like that. 
if she's wanting union or any, you know, we're just going to dive into the energies of the Divine Feminines. What are the Divine Feminines going through right now on their healing journeys, please? Wow, so the Divine Feminines are feeling very, very nostalgic. They're healing a lot of their inner child wounds. And they're feeling um, a sense of home within themselves. Ooh, this incense is getting on my table. One second. Okay, so that was the first card we drew, which is uh, Six of Cups. I had to turn the incense off because I just cleaned this table off. And it was making a mess. It's getting ashes all over my cloth. Okay. Mm. And that is an incense stick holder, so it's not supposed to be doing that. So, mm. anyways. Can definitely tell we're in Mercury Shadow. All right, what do we got here? So the Divine Feminine is working very hard. Um, she's gotten past the point where she is um, sort of waiting for her growth. Now she's actively moving towards things that she wants. Okay. Whoa, that one flew out. Did you guys see that? It's the star. Okay. So she's feeling very hopeful and sort of dreamy and romantic um she's pouring a lot of her emotions into herself into her self-love and her self-care and right now she's actively working towards her goals Woo, we have the devil. Not sure what's going on there. But to me, it feels like a lot of shadow work is going on. The divine feminine has dived deep into her dark side. Wow. She's learning to identify the old patterns which have kept her back, kept holding her back. <clears throat> And she can see really clearly the steps that she needs to take in order to go forward on her journey. But it hasn't been easy facing her dark side, okay? We're going to do two more from this deck. Wow, look at that. She is definitely feeling a lot of love. Whether that's love for herself or love for you or love for the universe. She feels very blessed and abundant. She's flowing with the Holy Spirit through her body. And she's entering into a new state of peace. Her cup runneth over with love. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's the Ace of Cups. And the Three of Wands. So she's feeling very excited about her future. She is looking out on the horizon and she's trying to um, tune in to her greatest timeline, okay? She is definitely envisioning um, what life will be like. Life will be like when you are in the picture, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go on to this other tarot deck here. <clears throat> This is a mini deck, so it's really small. Okay, we're only going to do two cards from here because I don't want these readings to be super long anymore. So, what else do we need to know, angels? We have the Four of Cups. So, the Divine Feminine has had to go through a really strong um almost like another awakening like a dark night of the soul it was pretty unpleasant and i see a lot of them um shed some tears and 
felt like there was a very dark point in their life, right? But they are pulling themselves out of that. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles. So again, we have this energy of really trying to shift things, trying to shift the energy. Um, she might be working with different people like healers and um, just people that lift her up and sort of are going to help her clarify her journey, okay? The Three of Pentacles is about working with others and collaborating. So she may be finding, you know, someone to heal the healer, right? You ever hear that saying, so you're a healer, but who heals you, right? Who heals the healer? And I love that saying. I recently watched a video, um, you know, by the beautiful John Binney. And, you know, he made some a similar statement. It was about, you know, how he does exorcisms. And he said, you know, well, who who's going to exorcise the exorcist, right? <laughs> like, who helps him take care of his demons, right? And the answer a lot of the time, sadly, is ourselves, right? The healers heal themselves because they don't have anyone else to heal them, right? So it's quite a beautiful conundrum, but... We are our own saviors and no one is here to save us. We do have friends and um, soul family on this journey, right? That will help us along. But at the end of the day, we're all really saving ourselves from ourselves. And look at that. At the bottom of the deck, again, we have the devil. So your feminine right now is doing some very, very heavy shadow work, right? She's trying to find her way out. Look, I feel like she is feeling almost like she's trapped um, in this energy of darkness because she's had to face so many shadows. Um, you know, she might be talking to friends and family. Um, I know a, a lot of um, Times when you're on the spiritual journey, it can get quite lonely because a lot of your family members do not understand you. So, you know, you're by family, you know, it could be even soul family that your divine feminine is reaching out to because she knows at this state of her journey, she cannot do it alone. So she's reaching out, you know, to learn, to heal, to integrate, to go to the next level of her journey, right? All right, I'm going to pull a card from my Lisa Frank deck that I created. This is all Major Arcana. So I want to know what the major lesson is that the Divine Feminine is working on right now. You know, for those that are on the same timeline that I'm picking up on, for those that watch me here. Wow. So there's a sense of like everything sort of slowing down for the divine feminine. Um, there's a lot of divine timing here. There's a lot of um, pausing for breathing, um, for breathing room. Okay. There's a lot of pausing that divine feminine is doing right now in order to enlighten herself. Okay, so she's just throwing herself wholeheartedly into this spiritual journey because she knows it's the only thing right now that is giving her fulfillment and joy. It's the only constant in her life, right? And she's also learning not to judge herself, right? She's learning how to find balance in her life and to do it in a way that works for her. There is a heavy energy also of transformation. We have the butterfly here. The divine feminine is blossoming under her, her shadow work. Although it probably doesn't feel like it, right? It probably feels like death. But she is setting herself up for her greatest timeline, which includes you, by the way, divine masculines. <clears throat> Right. What else do we have here? Can we get two cards from this deck, please? 
I moved on to the Light Seers. We're going to do a Love Oracle card after this, an Animal card, and an Angels and Ancestors. And then we're going to wrap this reading up. Can we get two cards for the Divine Feminine? Um, the Five of Swords flipped, but it didn't come out, so I'm not going to take it. But some of you could be going through some conflict right now. Okay. That's what the Five of Swords is about. We have Two of Wands again. So the Divine Feminine is trying to make a choice right now. Whether she's going to move forward or she's going to stay in her comfort zone. If she's going to allow herself to do the things which make her uncomfortable in order to have growth in her future. Right? The things that make her uncomfortable. Like for some people... It's traveling. It could be exposing yourself more on social media um, and showing people the real stuff that, you know, other people wouldn't necessarily show. Or it's about, you know, diving deep into your shadows and being vulnerable and letting people know, hey, you know, this is this is me and this is what I go through and this is this. And allowing herself to sort of be driven, but still staying in her feminine energy, right? So she can stay there with the stick, which is comfortable there. Or she can move forward to the stick in her hand, which is empowering her to face her fears. By the way, Divine Feminines, I'm so proud of you. The energy definitely has a sort of heaviness to it, which I get this sort of image of like the dawn, um, the dusk right before the dawn, right? Um, like, so I'm seeing like the darkness, but I'm seeing like a very strong light at the end of the tunnel. So it's like, it might feel dark right now, but after all of this um, clearing and healing, you're going to come out a lot stronger. Okay, we have Knights of Swords. So this is about the Divine Feminine. She's really, really, really driven right now. I mean, she's really, really focused on her goals. You know, it's like she's eat, sleeping, and breathing them, which is a beautiful energy. Just remember Divine Feminines, if you're watching this, to be able to allow yourself some time to take a break. I took, you know, a few weeks off my channel because I was doing some heavy, heavy integrating. Um, and facing so many deep, dark things. And it took me a lot of time, but I'm back. <laughs> so, um, yes, the Divine Feminine is, she's feeling really good and she's making plans to move forward very swiftly towards um, her new timeline manifestations, okay? Whatever that, whatever that is. I mean, for some of you, it'll be, you know, um, opening a business, working for yourself. For others, it'll be, you know, to be honored at work. Um, for some of you, it'll be housing. For some of you, it might be like a new job or a new car or, you know, a divine union, <laughs> of course. All right. What else do we have to know, please, about the divine feminine's energy? <clears throat> what else do we need to know about what the divine feminine is going through right now? Thank you for allowing me to be clear channel for source messages. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm so bummed that my mic didn't work. <clears throat> I often have a very, very soft voice. And I have to sort of, like I learned in theater class how to amplify my voice. And um, so I can do it, but it can be very straining on the vocal cords. And I'd much rather just have a microphone, you know. So, all right, what do we got? Wow. Yeah. So the divine feminine has definitely been through another dark night of the soul. There's a lot of um, heavy, dark pain that's coming out for the divine feminine. And she's handling it with grace, as she always does, right? Hugs to the beautiful divine feminines. I have not definitely been above this. I have been through a hell of a, hell of a month for December already. And we're just starting December. Sorry.
Sorry, I had to take a water break. <clears throat> so, believe me when I say I know what you're going through, Divine Feminine. Because I'm, I'm not above it either. I'm going through it as well. But we are definitely going to come back stronger <clears throat> after these periods of testing and tribulation. We are much stronger than we know, my loves. Look at that. Working through that fear. After the heartbreak comes the reason of the heart for the heartbreak. What is the real reason for the heartbreak, Divine Feminines, right? Fear. So, Divine Masculines. Your Divine Feminines are learning that a lot of the grief that they feel is because they're stuck in this fear. They're not moving forward. Right? Right? get one more please and she's grieving her old self she's grieving the fact that she knows she cannot stay in this fear look at that divine intervention things are unfolding how they're supposed to right there's going to be a fire an even stronger fire lit under the divine feminine's butt and um you know once she finds herself look at that crossroads once she finds herself at this crossroads, she's going to know exactly what path to take because the divine intervention is going to show her. And look, for some of you, it's going to lead to this. Your divine union, you're running into each other, right? <clears throat> Okay, we're going to pull an animal card to see um, what animal your divine feminine is embodying right now at this moment. Just one animal card, please, and then we're going to the angels and ancestors, and we'll wrap this reading up. <clears throat> I will be doing a divine masculine energy read after this. <clears throat> Not directly after, but <laughs> very soon. Then after that, we'll be doing the Leo bonus love read and then going on to Gemini. And I will start working on the signs reads for December. All right, what is the divine feminine embodying right now? What is her animal spirit guide right now that is helping her along on her journey, please? Wow, we have Jaguar for the Divine Feminine. So let's read it. So it says the symbology is wholeness, divinity, and rebirth. Wow, that's quite a synchronicity. I literally just had a discussion with my dad about wholeness, you know, which was pretty amazing <clears throat> um, to have a conversation like that with your parent, right? And it was it was pretty amazing. Um, we talked about how, you know, you can never really, if you know who you are, you can never really be lonely because, you know, you just realize that being alone is freedom, right? And it makes you feel whole. And once you can get to that point, then you realize, right, that you don't need anything outside of yourself, no love outside of yourself because you are the love that you're seeking. So it was just an incredible epiphany there <laughs> with my father. All right, so... Native American tribes of North, South, and Central America consider the jaguar, especially its black panther form, to wield powerful magic. Shamans would invoke jaguar power to heal diseases or exact revenge on an enemy. Wow. The cross in a, in a circle design of this painting is an ancient motif that has represented divinity or eternity in many civilizations. The depiction of jaguars among the Mayan and Olmec civilizations of Highland Mexico often incorporated a cross framed by a cartouche. This, I, this iconographic device was a symbol of the sky, heaven, and divinity. Wow, that's beautiful. The painting also shows a white face appearing below the black jaguar, which suggests a polarity a tension of opposites within the framed whole. Olmec art forms often showed two jaguars together, 
suggesting a similar polarity or a dull nature. At times, the jaguar was shown engaged in intercourse with a human, a reference to the mythical origins of these jaguar people. So it doesn't literally mean a jaguar having intercourse with a human. Um, it's just, it was a representation of jaguar people. So this is about the integration of light and dark. Again, we were just talking about how the divine feminine was facing her demons of fear and grief, grieving for the old self, which she knows she has to let go of in order to move forward for the rest leg of her journey. She has to be very brave. All right. For some of you, it's about taking that huge leap of faith, right? Into the unknown. All right, let's do an Angels and Ancestors card, please. Um, angels and Ancestors. <laughs> and then we are going to wrap up this reading. What is the last thing that the divine... Ugh, I cannot talk. What is the last thing that the divine feminine um, wants her divine masculine counterpart to know about what she is facing at this time? By the way, kudos to you, beautiful divine feminines, for being so brave and so strong. Lord, take charge with authority. So it's literally about taking the bull by the horns, right, divine feminines? It's about allowing yourself to lead but still stay in your feminine energy right it's about letting yourself be guided by your own internal compass i'll also read it from the book although i'm pretty sure i covered all that but don't be afraid to take charge or to use your voice be strong see <laughs> I don't even know this card, but I know what I'm talking about. I know my gift. The Lord is the consort of the lady, the emperor in the traditional tarot. He represents an authoritative male who isn't afraid to lay down the law. But this doesn't mean he is angry or chauvinistic. He is self-possessed, reliable, and ambitious. A man of honor who has earned his place in society. The Lord in this oracle holds a ram staff and wears a crown of antlers, showing he keeps himself firmly rooted in the ground and is protective of his people. <clears throat> his regal air indicates he has a taste for the finer things in life, yet he is sensitive to those who are less fortunate than he is. <clears throat> That's beautiful. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. If you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted, it's time to change that. There is no excuse for bad behavior and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way. You have the energy and might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth and it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation that you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed. This card also brings the energy of ambition and can show you the potential to move upwards on a professional level, but only if you act with authority and show who you really are. Wow, so the Divine Feminine is definitely stepping into her boss bitch era. I am so proud of you, Divine Feminines. So Divine Masculine, just so you know, you're definitely going to have to face your own shadows and step up your game if you want to be on the same level as your Divine Feminine because she is doing the damn thing. <laughs> of course we are. Of course we are. All right. I love you so much. I hope that something in this reading resonated. And if it did, then please like, smash that um, thumbs up button and subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe and it supports my channel. And I could definitely, definitely use your support. 
okay and liking is free as well sharing with all your friends so they can know what's going on with their divine feminine and the divine masculine reads will be coming up really soon along with the bonus love reads and i will start working on the energy the energy reads um sorry energy general energy reads for predictive reads whatever you want to call them for december i love you so so very fiercely and if you want to book a reading with me all of my information is in the description box below my video. All right, until then, take care.